Hello and thank you for tuning in to this week's Market Outlook from Exynos. In this video, we're going to be looking at a possible idea for a trade over the next few days, the narratives that might drive the movement, and what traders who were to take that potential position would need to be aware of in terms of news and data. But before that, let's take a quick look back at the performance of last week's idea. Last week's idea was a potential buy for the pound sterling against the Canadian dollar from the area of around 169, with a target around 170 to 171. The idea so far is inaccurate and hasn't been triggered yet, but it's possible that it might be triggered over the next few days around important data, so stay tuned on that one. Now for this week, I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager, and joining me is Andreas Themistokolaus, Trading Specialist. Thanks very much, Andreas, for being here. Hello, Michael, and thanks for having me. So what's the idea? What are you looking at for this week, Andreas? So for this week, I am looking at Bitcoin for a potential short trade with a target around the 29,000 or even 28,500. The price found sufficient resistance on the upper band of the Bollinger Bands and is currently correcting to the downside. Um, this has the potential to continue further down since the stochastic oscillator is in the extreme overbought area for the last week. Also, the 50-day moving average has recently crossed below the 100-day moving average, indicating that the bullish momentum has potentially shifted. The area between the 29,000 and 28,500 is the level where both the daily and the weekly Fibonacci retracement levels coexist, making it a very strong technical support level on the chart. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the narratives or the factors in focus for that potential move down for Bitcoin? So if we take a look at the fear and greed index, we will see that it has started declining from the high of 65% of last week to 62% currently. This indicates that the market is possibly priced in fully the news that BlackRock is waiting for an approval from the SEC to launch their Bitcoin ETF. This was actually one of the main factors behind the aggressive bullish rally that we saw last week. The positive sentiment that pushed the price may be wearing off, so a continuation of the recent correction could push the price of the crypto king further down. Mm -hmm. And for this week, what are the most important uh, news or items of data that traders who were to take that position would need to be aware of and monitor? Um, in terms of economic data that could influence this trade is coming mainly from the US and more specifically the core PCE index, the personal income and personal expenditure on Friday, while on Monday we have the US manufacturing PMI, which would affect the US dollar and its pairs, Bitcoin included. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Andreas, for giving us the idea. And in summary, the potential idea for a trade this week is a sell for Bitcoin against the US dollar with a possible target around 29,000 or perhaps even 28,500. Primary narratives behind that position are the decline for the fear and greed index and the likely declining sentiment around the launch of BlackRock's ETF on Bitcoin. The most important releases to be watched this week are American PC, personal income and personal spending. Remember that this is just an idea for a trade. It's not a guarantee of success or a signal. You should always do your own research and manage risk.